Putin's cyber army. Where are they and what do they do? Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today's Press Review. My name is Stephen Brees and today we're going to be taking a look at an investigative report by Guardian newspaper journalist Sean Walker. He has tracked down two Russian internet trolls that have been promoting the Kremlin's agenda online, on forums and on social networks. And what he's found is really quite astonishing. Sean Walker describes the nondescript building pictured here as the headquarters of Russia's troll army in St. Petersburg, where hundreds of paid bloggers work around the clock to flood Russian internet forums, social networks and the comment sections of Western publications with remarks praising the President Vladimir Putin and raging at the depravity of the injustice of the West. Walker writes that the job of these trolls was to appear like ordinary bloggers. They would post mundane comments about baking a cake or music they enjoy. And then every once in a while, they would post about how Ukraine's government is fascist. The trolls worked in teams of three. The first one would leave a complaint about some problem or other, or simply post a link. Then the other two would wade in using links to articles on Kremlin-friendly websites and comedy photographs lampooning Western or Ukrainian leaders with abusive captions. The Guardian's investigation found that the trolls were hired unofficially. They were paid cash in hand for their work and fined if they did not reach their quota of posts per day. The trolls were firmly instructed that there should never be anything bad written about the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic or the Luhansk People's Republic controlling parts of eastern Ukraine and never anything good about the Ukrainian government. One of the trolls that gave comment to the Guardian said that his work as a troll affected his sanity and he noticed others around him that originally didn't believe what they were writing start to change their minds and truly think what they were saying was fact. Sean Walker says it's difficult to determine the scale of this underground industry in Russia, but says it's clear it has grown over the past two years. Now that's all from us here this week. Join us again on Monday for another press review from the Ukraine Today newsroom in Kiev.